Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we've got round one of the Serpent and Longshot Arena. Uh, Serpent is a new champion that is coming into the contest. It's getting so hard to keep track of all of these different champions. Uh, but I know that a few of my friends are grinding for him. Uh, so there must be something about him. I'll probably end up having to wait until I get him from a crystal, or I might even grind for him when he comes around to the basic, depending on how good he is. All right, but anyway, let's take a look at the uh, leaderboards. And we'll start with Longshot here. Uh, there's that name again, number two. All right, see if we see anyone. Now, Longshot is actually a really good champion. Uh, I think he's slightly underrated by quite a few people, but I know that when I have to face him, I have to be on point. You don't want to go up against him with someone that relies on getting a lot of buffs. That could be a problem. Um, you don't really want to push him to his special two if you can help it, uh, because even even if you are using a champion that doesn't normally gain a lot of buffs if, buffs if you dex a lot and you're getting that dexterity or uh, precision buff and you push him to a special two, that's probably going to be lights out for you. At least that's been my experience. Uh, but anyway, I'm not surprised uh, if I see some names that I recognize, but he's not new. Uh, I remember when we first got him in the CCP and we were testing him. Yeah, but imagine that. We actually uh, were playing around with him. And we went into, um, I think it was Act 4. And it was that, because uh, we just had a, a, a challenge, uh, the Women of Power, where you have to fight that um, Venom with a uh, guillotine, like a two-star guillotine, that venom right there. We used long shot. And when we saw the damage, we actually went back and said, are y'all serious? Is this intended? And they were like, yes, that is exactly what he is meant to do in that situation with lots of buffs and things like that. So take that as a lesson. You don't want to go up against him with tons and tons of buffs and gaining buffs and everything like that. Mm -mm. It will not go good for you. All you have to do is get hit once. And now we were doing his special two, but his special one is also <clears throat> very nasty, depending. So um, I don't tend to use him a lot. I think mine is still not even ranked up. Uh, but I recognize his power, and I respect his power, and I suggest you guys do the same. He crazy. So, now, um, I believe Human Torch, you know, takes care of him, but if you don't have a Human Torch, and, and you don't have a, a Incinerate Immune Champion or anything like that, you gotta be real careful. Uh, I fought him with Nick Fury. And I know people were like, don't use Nick Fury, don't use Nick Fury. You can use Nick Fury and get him down. You don't want to push him to a special two, as usual. And I've been able to beat him with Nick Fury. I'm not quite sure why they were telling me don't, don't, don't. Unless it's the buffs that he gets on his second life, maybe, or something. I I'm not sure. But I usually beat him, unless I accidentally push him to a special two after I dexed a lot. All right. Anyway, that's the... Uh, uh, leaderboard for uh, long shot and I did get my summoner trials done waited till like the last day and did it all right now we've got uh, serpent I don't know a whole lot about serpent but man and laser John congratulations now I believe let's see no laser John yeah Laser John is still with them. Um, that was my old alliance. And Laser John 
very, very good player and a grinder. Uh, one of our other officers left the same time I left. And Laser John stayed. I was, I was confusing the two, but um, the other officer left for an alliance that was in, I believe, Masters. So he was trying to push up, push up, push up. And that's what I believe um, that alliance is currently trying to do, is to push. So I wish them well. I hope they get uh, Platinum 1 or Masters. Wonder Wolf, congratulations. Because uh, I, I have no interest in uh, going up that high. I do not want to do that, especially not with the meta and the way that I've seen Kabam, the pattern of thought. I'm not even talking about their actions, just their patterns of thinking. I have no interest. I, I've not ever been someone who really enjoyed this particular game mode anyway, the Alliance War. But what they have done and what it looks like they are going to be doing, put it this way, even people that love Alliance War are not liking it right now. All right, so that should tell you something. I'm not quite sure what they are doing. Last Zarnian, congratulations, man. With your serpent. Hey, it's Kevin. Haven't seen you in a while, man. Congratulations. Um, but they they are just making war not fun. That that's pretty much it. Now, just because I didn't like that game mode doesn't mean I didn't see how it could be fun. You know, it was competitive and, and all of that. And if you really enjoy that kind of competition, I could see the fun. But what they have done now has removed the fun. I think that they have perhaps lost touch with what makes the game fun. You know, um, I had some uh, fellow programmers that were this way. They got so focused on the technical that they no longer could relate to the non-technical, okay? So they're looking at things and they're like, yep, I got my spreadsheet, I've got this, the loot is perfectly um, balanced according to my spreadsheet, here's my formulas that I'm using here. But then people are like, yeah, but it's difficult to use, um, it's not enjoyable this way. <clears throat> they're like, um, didn't know what to do, you know? Um, and, and I don't know for sure, but that's what it's looking like, you know, um, that they're going more technical and losing touch with the people. And now I know some people would say, oh, they, they never had touch. No, 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 they did. And there were quite a few things they've done uh, in the past that were pro player, were very enjoyable. Um, but it looks like there might be, and, and this is me pure speculating, maybe there's a war going on behind the scenes. You know, like you have some people that want to push for the people and have things enjoyable. Then you got people that are more about the technical. And it seems like the technicals are winning. You remember when a lot of people were laid off from Kabam? I wonder, because some of the people that were laid off, I know related to the people. And I wonder if that was not the issue. They saw the direction and they were just like, no, because they weren't, you know, of like minds. Pure speculation, okay? Uh, but anyway, that is gonna do it, guys, for the video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will see you later on today. Uh, we will just be grinding out those milestones. And I've made several rank ups that uh, should be fun. Should be uh, fun. Anyway, take care. And you all have a blessed day.